Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, aitechmon.com. My name is Sumit and I'm thrilled to have you here for today's video. This is my a new video in Salesforce integration, mainly the SOAP integration in Salesforce. And in today's video, we will be going to see that how do we make a SOAP request from Postman in order to add a new record. So I've already created one video in uh, previously I've created one video in that video explain that how can we establish a connection? How can we start? How can we make a connection request from Postman to Salesforce using SOAP? So in today's video, I will be going to show you how do we add record? How do we add a record into an object by using by making a SOAP request from Postman? So before we dive into the main topic in today's video if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell icon so you will never miss out our future content so before we and uh, before we get started if you find today's video valuable so don't forget to give it to a thumbs up and also don't share it don't forget to share it with your friends who might also get benefited from this so now let's get into the today's topic. And uh, so, as I mentioned in my previous uh, in my previous session, I explained, I demonstrated that how do we make a SOAP request from Postman onto Salesforce in order to get the information, like in order to get the session ID, because in order to make a SOAP request, we do not require a connected app. We don't require any consumer key and consumer secret. So we only require username and password in order to make a request. And so this we have already done in our previous session. I will share the link in the description below. You can check that link. You can check that video and uh, uh, try that out. So in today's session, this is a second session. This is the second part of that. And in today's session, we'll be going to see that how do we make a post request in order to add a record. And for this, I'm, I'm again going to make a post request here. So method will be post. This time the URL will change and the URL will be, uh, the URL will be the response. Uh, you can say the URL will be the instance. You can say the server URL we have retrieved from the previous session. So I just copy the server URL from the response we have made previously. That's the server URL. Now, uh, in header, I need to add content type is equals to text slash XML. And reason to use reason to select XML here because from the SOAP, we'll be making a request in XML format. And the SOAP action, SOAP action, and the SOAP action, I'm going to leave it as a blank. So now we'll let's switch to the body and we'll be going to pass a body here. And it I'll just change this to XML because you see when I, when I keep it as a JSON, I'm getting a message the language selected different from the language inherited from the content type header. So I just switch, I just change this to XML. Now here we have to write the step. We have here we have to write a code. So what should we write here? Uh, I can copy that from the previous response. Also, the, the response I have received and copy from there. The first is XML. Uh, let me quickly make a note of that XML version, then SOAP ENV envelope. SOAP ENV envelope, XML NS SOAP ENV, then XML NS colon URN is equal to URN enterprise. And uh, I think that's fine, XML NS, XML XSI schema instance. And don't forget to make a close of it because we require the closing tag. So PNB, that's the closing tag. Any tag which we uh, we use to open, it's mandatory to close that tag, closing tag. Then so ENV colon header slash so ENV colon header so PNB colon header. Then URL colon session header and opening and closing tag. So open that, paste, and close that. 
So that will be a closing tag. That will be a closing tag. Session header. And after that, URL colon session ID. One thing I'll do, I'll just make it as a big session header, as big. And here I just write session ID and slash URL colon session ID. And here we have to pass the session ID. So this session ID we have retrieved in the whenever we had uh, like in our previous request. So this is a session ID which I copied and pasted out here. I copied that session ID and pasted it here, session ID. So that's the URL session ID and uh, yeah, here it is. So, so we have the session ID and session header closed. Session header closed. Then we have so PNV header and now we are going to start with so env colon body and slash so env colon body. And in this, I will be going to uh, so PNV body. Actually, we have to make a slight change into this. We have added the URN session header. So in the body, because we are going to make a, uh, now what we are going to do, we will be going to add a record. We are not going to write a query here. So here I just write URN colon create slash URN colon create. So I'm going to add a new record, URN colon S objects, XSI colon XSI colon type is equals to URN1 colon account. URN1 colon account. And uh, we require a closing tag for that. URN colon S object. That's the closing tag. So for every tag which we open, there would be a closing tag for that. So that's the closing tag for URN S object. That's the closing tag for this. And I'll just arrange that so that it would be clear for all of you. And in this S object, we are going to define the variables. So name as, let's say, so test account slash name so i just name phone slash phone these are the field api names phone let's say then we need to add the account type type will be let's say customer direct customer direct slash type and finally, industry as material and slash industry. So that's the way. I'll just let's quickly cross check that. So, so PNV envelope, and uh, that's fine. So PNV header, URN session header. We just add the session ID. Then we close the session header. Then we have soap. Uh, Okay, one more thing we are going to add here because we just wanted to commit the changes. So within this session header, so basically after this session header, I'm going to use URN colon MRU header. So this makes sure that whatever changes we are going to, uh, whatever changes we are going to make, that changes will get committed. MRU header. And in this MRU header, I set this to false. So, so PNV header, so PNV body, you are in create and find. Now, let me make a request to this. And when I make a request, once the report gets created successfully, it will add a new record uh, into an account object named the soap test account. It will return the ID slash type. And finally, industry as a theory and slash industry. So that's the way I'll just let's quickly cross check that. So, so PNV envelope and uh, that's fine. So PNV header, URN session header. We just add the session ID. Then we close the session header. Then we have soap. Uh, okay, one more thing we are going to add here because we just wanted to commit the changes. So within this session header, so basically 
after this session header, I'm going to use URN colon MRU header. So this makes sure that whatever changes we are going to, uh, whatever changes we are going to make, that changes will get committed. MRU header. And in this MRU header, I set this to false. So so PNV header, so PNV body, URN create and find. Now let me make a request for this. And when I make a request, once the report gets created successfully, it will add a new record uh, into an account object named the SOAP test account. It will return the ID. Let's test it. So now I'm going to click on send button. And as soon as I click on send button, you can see I received a confirmation message that is status 200 OK, and the record has created successfully. The record added successfully here. So now we'll be going to test this code. And in order to do that, in order to test it, I'm just going to simply click hit the send button. And when I hit the send button, you can see I got a confirmation message from the Salesforce that the, uh, the record added successfully. This is the record ID. You can see the record has the record has created successfully. A new account has been inserted, created successfully. Let's go and check. So I'll get back to my Salesforce all. I'm onto my account object, and when I refresh. You can see a new record has been created successfully. This is the record which we added just now by, by making a soap request from uh, Postman onto Salesforce. So that's the way we can add a record in one single object by using SOAP API from Postman. So that's all for today's session. In the next video, in the next session, I will be going to show you that how can we add record into multiple objects by using SOAP API from Postman. That's all for the day. If you like this video, you can post your comment in comment box. If anyone of you have any requirement, or uh, if you have any requirement on the training, you can reach out to us. You can visit our website, www.aitech1.com, or you can contact us on the given numbers. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.